Alright guys, now let's move with a simple form of differentiation to a little complicated that is using the product and the quotient rule. Alright, now we saw that if at all we get functions coming up like, like y is equal to sin x, single guy, it's easy to differentiate, right? dy by dx is cos x, we know this guy, simple formulas. Now if at all I get functions like y is equal to sin x into log x, now well, let's say sin x plus log x. So still, these guys are coming like one after the other, all right? The plus and the minus sign, what we do is we have a simple formula y is equal to u plus v. Let's say these are two functions. So dy by dx, or this guy would be d by dx of both of them. I can split this guy as du by dx plus dv by dx, and I don't have to do anything, all right? It's very simple. So dy by dx, I can individually differentiate that d by dx of sin x plus d by dx of log x. We already did problems in this, right? So if there's a plus sign or a minus sign, it is no complication. It's easy. Now, the complication, let me finish this. d by dx of sin x is what? Cos x and log x is 1 by x. They're just formulas. You know them, you're done. Now, the problem starts if at all I have y is equal to, let's say, sin of x into, let's say, log x. Now, in this case, they're coming together. That is, n2 is there. So how do I deal with this problem? See, so, yeah, we have a formula which says uh, y is equal to u into v. Then dy by dx goes like u. I'll keep the first function, differentiate the second guy, plus v into du by dx. Okay, that's the formula basically. All right. Can I understand it more easily? Yes, we'll see. Talking about the product rule here. Simple. If at all I have y is equal to, let's say, uh, two guys, let's say Raj, Raj, and let's say Raj into Rahul, right? So these guys are two functions, basically. Let's call it a building function. Two guys come. So what do I do? I'll say Raj, you stand and differentiate Rahul. It means, well, this guy, very simple. See, the rule was what? When we started, we can differentiate only one functional time. Two of them together, what am I doing? I'm keeping one guy aside, differentiate this guy, plus, now, tell Rahul, you stay here. Then differentiate who? Raj, belt Raj. So that's it, very simple. If I use this rule, let's say y is equal to sine x into log x. So what am I doing? Keep sine x here and differentiate the other guy. That's it, plus. Keep this guy here and differentiate the first guy, sin x. So what's the answer? Look at this. If you see, you are differentiating only log x here, right? Which is one single function. Again, log x, I'm not doing anything with this guy. Differentiate sin x as cos x. So basically, differentiation using product rule or quotient rule is an R to separate the functions who come together, right? With a product or a quotient sign. Very simple. We just need to separate them, find them single and differentiate. Alright. Now let's say, let's say I have another problem which says y is equal to let's say sine x into e power x, or let's say root x and log x. Now there are three guys coming. Three guys coming. So what is the rule? The rule remains the same. You can belt only one at a time. So how will I solve this guy? So I'll tell. Okay, fine. These two guys, you stand dy by dx, See, simple language, stand, you don't move, I will belt who? The third guy, that is log x. So log x differentiation is over. Who are left out? This guy is done, right? So these two are left out. But when I have to differentiate, let's say root x, I'll tell these guys you stay back, sin x and log x, all right? And only differentiate who? Root x, correct? Plus, then I finish this job, this job, I need to still differentiate or belt this guy. So I would tell these two guys, okay, you stay here, log x, and differentiate who? Root x, right? Or, uh, sorry, sin x. What's happening? I can see differentiation is happening for only one function. Though there are three guys coming, I'm telling you guys stay together, I'll differentiate this guy, one flow. These two guys separate, I'm differentiating only one. So now, I know these formulas. Sin x, root x is done. How do you differentiate log x? Simple formula, log x 1 by x, that's it. Plus sin x into log x. I'm not doing anything here. I'm differentiating root x as 1 by 2 root x. Plus root x is here, log x is here. Differentiate sin x as cos x. That's all about it. 
right i hope you understand the differentiation of product rule all right if at all you have two functions three functions four functions whatever it is the belting rule or separating rule works we can call it as product rule in your language books language in our language is talked as belting rule very simple let's go ahead and see how we can also use quotient rule and what is the way of separating them okay right look at this if i say i have y is equal to u by b and now these two guys are coming in a different fashion one about the other so what to do i write dy by dx is equal to i write v into du by dx minus sign u into dv by dx the whole thing dy by b squared so what i do right here also i'm actually differentiating only u and only v single single pair right let's talk about it with an example let's say i have y is equal to sin x divided by root x same guy right now there are two guys coming so i'll tell okay root x you stay by always keep the denominator first don't touch this guy differentiate the numerator that is sin x minus this guy's job is over i need to still belt denominator so i'll tell numerator guy you stand and belt who denominator the whole thing divided by root x the whole square that's it if you see carefully though they are coming together i am differentiating only one function that is sin x isn't it here i am differentiating how much only root x so it goes like root x into differentiation of sin x is what cos x this is part of my formula i am not doing anything new if i know those formulas what i learned was if two guys come together how to separate them all right so look at this minus sin x is here how do you differentiate this guy 1 by 2 root x that's it the whole thing divided by root x the whole square is x and that's my answer all right so that is product rule and quotient rule we call it as belting rule or whatever it is but what we learned was if they come together separate them this is only differentiation nothing much till the end it is the same keep this in mind while we are learning all right let's do more problems on product and quotient rule